word. We get to hear it. I love it. Love everybody. God's heaven. Thank you. Revelation 3.20. Jesus says, I stand at the door, I knock. If any man will hear my voice, open the door, I'll come into him and will sup with him and he with me. That's a close relationship, isn't it? Verse 21, same chapter, 5, I mean uh, 3, of Revelation 3, 21. To him that does what? Overcometh. So when the devil comes up to you and says, do this, do that, do what you used to do, but you rebuke that rascal, say, get behind me, Satan. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Sit where? In the throne with Jesus. Even as I have also overcome and have sat down with my Father in his throne. He that hath hear, ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Now, Revelation eleven fifteen, I read it. We're going to rule and reign with him. Praise God. And we are in boot camp right now. We're going to be in heaven one day. I don't know when, but one day. It's at the last trumpet or at the last breath. That's what comes first. Oh. Revelation 11, 15. The seventh angel sounded. That was great. That's the last trumpet, by the way. And 1 Corinthians 15, 52 says that the last trumpet, the, the rapture is going to take place. The dead in Christ arise. Them in the graves are going to come up out of the grave. That same cloud that received Jesus in Acts 1 is coming back to receive all the people. That's what Jesus is going to be in. That, that's, the graves are open and the, those are alive. It could be us if it comes to that. The kingdoms of this world now become what? The kingdoms of our Lord, of Christ, and he shall do what? Reign for how long? Ever and ever. He will reign for eternity. So the kingdoms now belong back where they're supposed to be because of what Jesus has done. And we are in his army. There's a war going on. Praise God. But Jesus Christ will reign forever and ever. 20 and 6. Revelation 20, verse 6. And it ain't much left, so we're going to get it. Revelation 26, 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God, of Christ, and shall what? What will they do? Reign with Jesus a thousand years. Now this is talking about during the millennium. And then after the thousand years of millennium, that's when we're going we to be ruling and reigning in Jerusalem, where Jerusalem is right now. We're going to rule and reign with Christ, planet Earth. The days of the Gentiles will be over. They're either going to be saved, working with Christ, or burning in hell. The last part of the tribulation is for the Jews. And if they don't receive the mark of the beast and faith refuse to deny you know, God, God will let them live, and then the devil will be locked up for 1,000 years. One day is with the Lord is 1,000 years, and 1,000 years is one day. The Bible says God created the heavens and the earth, and that everything, in how many days? Six days. One day is with the Lord is 1,000 years, and 1,000 years is one day. By the Hebrew calendar, we rot at that sixth day, which is the 6,000th year. What did Jesus, what did God do on the seventh day? On the seventh day, what did he do? He rested. What will be the last thing that would actually happen as things are, we can say, that we can say before planet Earth is completely redone? What's the last thing? The millennium. What does millennium mean? The time of rest. The day of rest. How long is that one day? A thousand years. Millennium. The seventh day, the day of rest. So the millennium will be for a thousand years, and then that devil is going to be loosed out of that prison. 
Nobody will, the Jews won't get sick. They won't, they keep having children. It will, this world's going to be full again. Nobody's dying. Now, and you don't, you don't get too old to have children. So I, I guess you can figure on that. And the devil's going to be loosed out. And then he's going to sneak up to him and say, you know what? If you get on my side, you can become a god yourself. He's going to try to do them like he did Eve and Adam. But let me tell you, when he does that, some will follow him. But God will judge them right there and destroy them. They will be in the hell burning. And then God's going to create a new heaven and a new earth as we are with him, ruling and reigning with Christ Jesus. Revelation 22, verse 5. That's the last chapter, so we'll have to stop, won't we? But let me tell you, Revelation 22, verse 5, makes me think of Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. What did God do on day one? Let there be light. There was no need of no sun or moon. But what, on the fourth day, he had to create light. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. The devil was here before Adam and Eve. Something happened. But look, this reminds me of that. Day one, he said, let there be light. There was no sun, moon, but there was light. So bright, no shadows. Look at verse 5, Revelation 22. There shall be no night there. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord giveth them light. And they, which includes us, they shall do what? Reign for how long? Ever and ever. Thank you. I love you. And remember, this is training ground. And we need to occupy and stay faithful to God. I love you. Brother Lyle, dismiss us if you will. Thank you. And I would say get the word around. We just don't have church, but just won't have food and stuff next Sunday.